This is Santa Sangri, and I had to Google that because I wasn't sure how to say it, so I hope I've said it correctly. Sangri means blood, and Santa, I guess, means holy because I am being told that it means holy blood. Also, this is this month's patron pick, this month being February, and if you want to be in with a chance of picking what movie I watch, head over to Patreon. It's all happening all over there. This one was picked by Bartleby, and he said, he said, because you guys know how much I don't like to know about a movie before I watch it. I like to know pretty much nothing and that's what he said. He said, I'm not telling you anything. He was very rude about it. <laughs> I'm kidding, he wasn't. He knows what I like and he said, I'm not going to tell you anything apart from it was filmed in Mexico. It was a Mexican director but it was spoken in English because, well let me tell you why, because back in the day, in the 80s, native language movies didn't do very well until like the mid 90s and even then it was a slow process. This is all coming out of my head, you know. I, I'm, not, I'm not reading it from anywhere. It was filmed in English in the hope that it would do very well and I guess it did because we know about it. I didn't know about it. I know about it now and we're away to watch it now. Santa Sangri or Holy Blood. Wait, um, this is gonna be a gory movie, isn't it? It's gonna be go it's gonna be blood. It's it's going to be Mexican blood. I think it's gonna be like breaking bad vibes, is my prediction. With some like religion thrown in there. <laughs> Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. Also, comment, post notifications, check out Patreon, especially if you want to be a Patreon pick winner. Do everything you can to make the channel grow and have a love you forever. And also, let's do our big fat shout out to our top tier patrons who are Silent Wolf 62, Nathan Wolf, Wolf? We have a lot of wolves. Robert McGregor, Adam Mantis, Brian Medendorp, Calico, Jack, Len, Anna Quad, Wayne, Kreiker, Robert, Emmons, Celeste McAllister, Rob, Joan, Dragner, Mersh, Alonso Torres, Phil Bryant, Chase Bauer, Thousandth Ghost, Roger Freeman, Lee Pittman, and Eric Warren. Santa Sangri and play. Oh, is Sangria called Sangria because it's blood colour? I see a butt. Why is he in a tree? Oh, this is like planet of the... He's got a whole fish there! What's he supposed to do with a whole fish? Eat it like a cave... <laughs> so eat it like a caveman, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's gross. I really hope they use the fake fish for that. What? This hand is very well placed. I bet that tattoo means something. See, hey, told you. <laughs> Maybe he thinks he is an eagle. I freaking love eagles, they're so grand. Oh my god, it's an elephant. Anytime you see Mexico in a movie, they always put that like yellow filter over it. So I expected it with this one, but they haven't done that. It's very nice to see in its proper colour. Wake up! Wake up! They're here! Get the hell out of here! I told you not to bother me! Oh, it's a tiger! And a bear. The circus is in town. My mother says he killed a woman in America. Your dad killed a woman. Now come on. Um, and how was she meant to do that? Come on! Don't be afraid! Come on! Absolutely not. You stupid deaf mute! Come on! Don't just stand there! Why don't you do it? You're gonna have to give her fireproof shoes. Oh. <laughs> I want one. Jesus. <sighs> Whoa. Is she really tall? Oh, bloody. Would I hell? He looks drunk. Oh, she's getting off on that. I wonder she's in the circus. Is that your parents? 
It didn't occur to me that that was a fake moustache. <laughs> he's like five and he's got a moustache. Wow. She likes you. How's that rope not burned down yet? She must have fireproof shoes on because that, that would hurt a lot. Also, you need to go like this with the bottles. That's the best way. Father! Father! Blasphemy! I thought, I thought they were in prison for... Wait, what? This is a cult? What's their logo? It's just arms, like this. Wait. No. <laughs> I can't do it. Please, Father, help us. They want to destroy our temple. What's your temple for? What's the reason behind it? Oh, that's blood in there. Who's, whose blood is it? This is where we worship our beloved saint. Who's your god? Does it smell? I imagine a pool of blood would smell bad. Here she is, Monsignor. Why does she have no arms? <laughs> Many years ago, Lirio, a young girl, was attacked by the Terrano brothers. Terrano brothers. She tried to fight them off. And they, but chopped they cut off her arms. What the actual hell? And on this ground, miraculously still wet with her holy blood, we built our church. Yeah, but whose blood is that? It's Spain! It's holy blood! You hear me, crazy woman? It's, it's Spain! Holy blood. It's Throw it in it! Holy blood! Holy blood! Bunch of nutters. Come, KB. I don't want this to soil your pure soul. Pure soul. I'm sure he's seen a lot worse. Holy blood! How does this happen? Does it just start with one person and a bunch of lies? It's made of paper mache. Your mother is an actual Fruit Loop. You would think if you cut off someone's arms, they would die instantly. Because that's a lot of blood to lose. Not instantly, but pretty quick. Well, at least your son means more to you than your armless child god. Creepy looking armless child god. <laughs> this is a bit weird. <laughs> What's the mom going to do now? Join the circus? saw a lot of things there. I don't like where... Uh, he's holding a knife. <laughs> Bite her ass. Bam! Put the knife down. Oh god, because that's her... That's her husband. She's even got arm earrings. Jesus Christ. This is this isn't normal, is it? It's it's not normal. Stay away from him, or I'll kill you. Ah! Ah! This is crazy. She is crazy. Yes. Wait, he's the. Don't do that. Is he this guy, or is it a common tattoo? He's not the guy from the start. Ah, oh, I don't like it. I, they need to be, they need to be in their their home. In the savannah. <laughs> Don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> Little boy, you're not supposed to watch. Oh no! What the hell's wrong with the elephant? What's happened? The elephant is dying. But why? What happened? Who did that?
I think I can safely say that this is probably the strangest movie I've ever seen. I didn't like that. It's bad enough seeing an animal like die, just die, but when you can see all the blood and then they're in pain and... Oh no, here it goes. It's got a huge ass coffin. That's pretty amazing actually. <laughs> Oh, I don't, it's gonna fall really hard. Yeah, that's not, oh, that's, no. No, not yay, that's a poor animal. You rotten people. Hey, I don't understand. They're not gonna, they're not gonna eat it, are they? Oh my god, they're gonna eat it. I can't, I can't. Oh my god, I can't deal with this. No, no. Stop crying, like a little girl. Boys can cry too. I'll give you a charm. It's very healthy for boys to cry. Oh, poops. He's the guy from the start. I don't think you needed to tie him down for it. Oh, sh Okay, maybe you do need to tie him down. You're not gonna use a traditional tattoo gun. Oh, chubbugger. How'd you get the colour in it? Oh. Oh, you pure wee loon. You make him feel better. Aww. <laughs> Cute. There's a lot of half-naked bodies. Get in the trailer. Keep quiet. Go. Hey, what are you doing? Your mum's off her head. She's gonna kill somebody. I don't know if I want to see this. But I can't not look. What is that? Poison. It's got skull and crossbones. It means it's poison. Oh, it's like acid. Oh shit! I'm pretty sure she just poured it on her vagina. <laughs> oh, I kind of like it. Why do I like it? See? Almost instant death. Her fingers are moving! Lava. No! Oh, God's sake! Why do you give me movies to watch when you know I don't like knife stuff? That's a lot of knife stuff. Wait, did you not get any on you? I thought she poured it on you too. Okay, we're only 40 minutes in and so much has happened. This is like the most that has ever happened in life in 40 minutes. Ever. In the whole of the world. Yeah, so this is the boy. And I am not surprised. I don't, I don't understand how his eagle looks like that because it wouldn't look like that if it was done with a knife. Why am I liking this movie? <laughs> I'm so disgusted by it, but I kind of love it. Why? Clint, movies to that. You are going with them. What to do? Wait, what? What's happening here? What, what happened? <laughs> That number plate almost says anal. One of life's castaways, like us. <laughs> oh, they're on like a, a trip out. If you promise not to tell, I'll take you somewhere else. That's much more fun than the movies. Yeah, see, someone should be watching them. The, the guy with the eagle tattoo is going to kill all the kids. <laughs> Let 
pasa Lupita? No sé. ¿Qué pasa Lupita? This is like um, one flew over the cuckoo's nest when he takes them all out on the boat. <laughs> Holy crap, it's her! Is it really her? He's gonna kill her. I hope he does. She's not gonna know it's him. Do it. You have my blessing. Phoenix. Phoenix. Is his name Phoenix? Has it always been Phoenix? Have fun last night. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's actually went back. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Bernice! Bernice! I feel so bad. He's had like the most disturbed life ever. Well, she's definitely not alive. Oh, that was too easy. Is this all in your head? He's dreaming. Because she's, there's no way she's alive. Oh, he's following her. He's following someone. Is this a dream? I feel like the whole movie's a dream. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> nice dump. It's where you belong. <laughs> Wait, what's your vagina looking like after... Because, let me see, because there's definitely something happened. Where's his money? First we gotta see what he's paying for. <laughs> now show them what he's paying for. She's a deaf mute. You can do whatever you want with her. Oh, no. No. Oh, you're sick. You're disgusting. Take her away. Save her. Bring her somewhere else. Please take her away. Tell, please tell her that she's safe. <coughs> he wasn't. He wasn't taking her away somewhere safe. God damn it! Yeah, Ron, go find, go find the boy. <laughs> There's something moving in it. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> I've never seen anything so foul in my whole life. How did he take his ear off? This is this is a dream. It has to be. Please be a dream. Imagine living like this. Who are you? Oh, who is it? Who is it? I am so happy to see this, but I want to know who it is. It's a woman. Oh, that went right through her neck. Imagine having to clean up after that. <laughs> the things you would see. I'm surprised she's got feet. Oh, there's the man that almost did things to him. Kick him in this massive chin. <laughs> Why is his chin so big? Don't pretend like you're not happy. I just want to know who did it. I want to thank them. <laughs> they did a good job. She's got a picture of him. That's love. Wait, this is this is you. What's his name? F right, hold on. I quickly check his name. It's Phoenix or Felix? He remembers him. Phoenix. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> his name's Phoenix. Oh my god, is it? <laughs> I did just need to double check. God create the heavens. His mom is still alive. 
What? Phoenix. But it's spelt with an F. That's why I had to double check. How did you survive? People are paying to watch this, yeah? So he killed the tattooed lady? <sighs> they maybe did it like this, like tied together. And then they knew sin. If this is real and she is alive, how did she know where her son was? How did she know he was in that room? And this is all too much. It's, it can't be, it can't be real. <laughs> Wait, that's Phoenix. With your hands and my body, we'll have an act that will be Take a sensational. What's the act? Elaborate. I didn't realise that was Phoenix. I thought that was some random guy. Her hair looks like pubes. So you did kill the tattooed woman. Oh, he's got knives. He's going to kill her. He's going to take her arms off. I will throw knives at you. One here. One here. And one here. He's gonna throw one and it's gonna like go through her head. I will be afraid. Don't worry, you love it. Because I will hypnotize you. I don't know if hypnotizing actually works. Well, that worked. <laughs> Very interesting. Right, this is a technique you need when you're throwing a knife. Okay, you ready? You have to go like this. <laughs> Two at a time! You know what you have to do. No, I don't want to. Don't ask me to! I'm not asking you. She's telling you. My hand, my arms, to kill her. Wait, what? Kill her! So your arms and hands belong... His hands... Wait. You have no arms, and he has arms, so now his arms are your arms. And she's Stop still it. hypnotized. Wake her up. No, don't. I wouldn't. <laughs> just, just go, just say, oops, my bad. <laughs> Didn't mean to. <laughs> the fake blood's hilarious. <sighs> uh. That's too sexual for your son. Okay, why why does she need to be white? It's been so sloppy. Oh, she's glowing. Honest, honest to God, I. I don't know what I'm watching. Wake up! Don't be. Why are you such a shit mom? I thought you were supposed to be a good one. I still can't believe you're alive. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. I, 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 I can't. I can't get over what I'm what I'm watching. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm seeing. Now we are going to practice my concert. The two scenes together. <laughs> no grace, no style. You've got to move my fingers more elegantly. They are not your fingers. Get your own fingers. What the hell is that behind you? Because I thought she was crushed at the beginning. You made a new one, did you? At least you remember the song of our patron saint. Hear the flies. <laughs> I dread to think what all he has to do with those hands. Does she make him do everything? Stop it! It's always roosters or swans. You never see anything else in your ridiculous hallucinations. Wait, how do you know? How do you know what he saw? 
It's nice, but it's not Chico Marx. How does she wipe her bum? Does he get... <laughs> uh, you rotters. Incestual. I've seen that movie! I freaking love that movie. <laughs> You're not invisible. What did you really think you was? <laughs> what did you drink? Wait, if you become invisible, it means that she can't use your arm. Oh, is that your plan? It's a way to it's a way to get out of not being your mum's arm slave. Got ya. <laughs> oh yeah, there's her. I forgot about you. Why is it cancelled? Because it was shit. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of butts. When did weird be not the norm? Because it, wouldn't it be so wonderful if everyone could be weird and just themselves and do what the hell they wanted to do? Like, apart from killing people and stuff, obviously, you can't do that. But still, they should be able to be to express themselves how they would like. And not the way that I mean the way the kids are doing now, because that, that is not right. I like you so much that I would like to have you in my show. Do you have your own company? A little theatre in my house. A little theatre in his house called his bed. Take me there tonight for a quick rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> this is my theatre. Look at him watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if I stay very, very still, they won't see me. Uh oh. <gasps> What's the matter with you? That's his mama, and she will make you die. Wait, wait. Your mom did die, and your your mom did die. And she is an hallucination. That's how she knew about your hallucinations and that it was all birds. I see it right up in between your legs. I will change this mummy into 100 flying doves. Well, that's not magic because there could be 100 doves underneath the mummy. All you need to do is crack it open and they'll all come flying out. <gasps> Okay, I think I see what's going on here. Watch out, Saint! Now you have to fight me off. Are you going crazy? No, he's been crazy for a long time. Surely you can't kill her. Just do this. Just do this on the top of his head. And he'll go right to the floor. Go. Break my arms. Do you know we can break our own arms? Because we only use 60% of our strength and our brain tells us to stop. If, our, if we, our brain didn't tell us to stop, we would literally be able to break our own arms. <laughs> it's just only just realising. Use the sword. This guy's just watching everything. Is he even alive? Why did you not leave quicker, you silly woman? Ah, oh, poops, she's in his house. Well, I don't think we've seen his house from someone else's point of view. Who's that? Is that the big strong lady? Is she... She... 
Yeah, because I feel like that's the first thing I would do too. Oh, he's paint is he painting them white because of the the girl that the girl that can't talk. Her face was white at the start. There's an awful lot of bums in this movie. <laughs> Boobs and bums. Oh, this is creepy as hell and I love it. Woo Me. How has he killed so much people? Is, is this real or? I have been waiting for you. He's covered in blood. Can you see that? Just, just making sure that you see the blood. Yeah, she doesn't care. Take me away. Where, where to? She's gonna put you back in the asylum. Stop it! That, I, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> She's not there. She's not real. The girl's gonna help you. Oh, my heart. My poor heart. He's going to chop off his own hands somehow. <laughs> I don't know how. He'll have to do them both at the same time. Why is she just standing there? Fall off, Kira. No. Oh my god. Kill someone. Yes. Oh, but you've just killed yourself, I think. But she's not there. Is she there? <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I don't know anymore. You will never be free of me. I'm inside of you. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. But if he's killed you in real life, physically killed you, Maybe he's killed you in his brain. Oh. Oh. Or did you just stab yourself? Oh. Oh. oh, this is terribly sad. Oh. Worst thing ever. Um, where did you come from? Maybe none of these people are real. No. No. Who is it? Who's in there? It's Muscles McGee. Adios. Or, or, oh, wait, uh, who the hell is it? It's you. It's you. Huh? I thought it was going to be him. <laughs> Oh my god. Where's the clowns going from? He needs a lot, a lot of help. Can anyone really recover from such a life? Because that helps how? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, they come off easy. <laughs> they weren't real. <sighs> He's not real either. He wasn't feeling that. <laughs> That's not what he was there for. Uh huh. Bye. Oh yeah, she did that thing. Hold on, can I do it? Yeah, I can.
with the eagle and then she goes and that means you are free from yourself that was kind of cool oh what Put your hands up. why oh because of the muscles lady and the rest of them my hands My hands! My hands! Look how he's holding his gun. You have to hold it out like this because it looks cooler and to the side as well. Wow! I don't want it to be over. Okay, you guys are probably not going to believe this, but I'm going to have to give it almost, yeah, almost best movie ever. And I think there's a couple of reasons why. I think that's the exact movie I needed to watch today. You know when you want to watch a movie or you don't even want to watch a movie, like you sit down to watch something and then, and you don't know what it is that you want to watch. And then something comes on and then you watch it and you're like, yep, yeah, that was it. That was the exact movie. Well, that was it. That was the exact movie that I needed to watch today and wanted to watch today. I just didn't know it. I didn't know I wanted to watch this weird, wonderful, gross, disturbing, almost a porno. <laughs> because it was. I didn't know that's what I wanted to watch, but then, yeah, like, I, even like five, 10 minutes in, I was like, yeah. Yeah, there was obviously those bits, like the elephant, oh, the poor elephant. There was a hell of a lot of blood. There was melting peepees and <laughs> the creepy clowns. They're, they're just, that's it. They're just creepy and nothing else. What else did I know? The, all the knife stuff, I really don't like knife things. Do you know what? And I'm probably going to regret saying this, but I think if, if someone was like quick, make a movie you've got a week make a movie i this would be this would be what would come out of that week at the end of it something along those lines because it would be plucked out of my weird head and that's what it would kind of look like <laughs> so that's another reason that it's kind of best movie ever and you know what would be awesome about that is being able to, and I think that's why they do it. They have these things in their head and then they make them come to life. And that's what I would love, love to do. Cause it's not even at night. It's not even dreams through the night. It is that, but also throughout the day, I have things pop in my head that I'm like, hmm, that, that would be interesting. <laughs> and if I wrote everything down and stuck it in a movie for everyone to see that would just be like amazing and then imagine everyone loved it and you made heaps of money from it i really liked how everything kind of came together nicely not nicely but it came together and the story the whole story like so from the very beginning when we saw the guy at the start and he was obviously a little cuckoo and then we saw the circus and then we saw the mom that was in like the weird cult thing with the the god with the, the girl with the arms and then she went into the story behind that and then we saw how the boy ended up the way that he was and then we saw him as an adult basically morph into his mom and become one person in his head and his arms and hands weren't his anymore which was kind of like amazing and fantastic it was yeah thoroughly enjoyable 10 out of 10 maybe not 10 out of 10 8.5 out of 10 i think that has to definitely be strangest movie ever I, that's what i could do strangest movie ever yeah because i just i can't decide because i i really in in this moment, in this time, right now, I'm thinking 8.5 8, 8 out of 10. But, but, I will then refl reflect and go back to the movies I have previously watched, like the 10 out of 10s, and then I'll be like, maybe it's not an 8.5. Do you know what I mean? 
it, in this moment, it is almost best movie ever. We're gonna give it strangest movie ever, definitely. I think I went through all the emotions. We had disgust, we had sad, we had happy. It was, it they had the funny bits, it was gross. So I, there was, I think I already said disgust. It gets double disgust. I, I felt sorry for him because that, that's what happens when you have a hard life. You have a hard adulthood. You can't some you can't control your brain. Yeah, I'm gonna end it there. You can't control your brain. Your brain controls you. I found myself a lot of this. In fact, the whole way through the movie, although there was a lot of it that I was like, ah, I can't watch this. I found myself not being able to look away. It was like one of those things that was so fascinating, and I found myself looking for more. <laughs> You know, like, you know, when she threw the acid and I could have swore that it went in between her legs too. Kind of wanted to see what that looked, not because, um, not because I wanted to see it messed up. I wanted to see how the movie would portray that. And I thought that's what we were going to see. And I thought we were going to see it look. When they said, do you know the bit when they were paying for sex and then they were like, oh, I want to see what I'm paying for. I think that's what was said. I thought then she was going to show and they were all going to be like, I'm not paying for that. That kind of thing is what I mean by I was looking for more. Yeah, I'm, I'm not weird. I am weird. The, okay, the whole weird thing. Right, let's let's explain. Let's, let's go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> I'd like to know. Obviously, we're, we don't 100% know where we come from, but it would be interesting to know or see in the past or the future and the future this is none of this is going to make any sense by the way when did we all turn into sheep when did weird become like when did the weirdos become the outcasts wouldn't it be nice for it to not be like that but not in the way that it is just now because, because, and this is this is going to come out so weird and I said like throughout the movie not the way the kids are doing it because the way the kids are doing it is for attention. <laughs> can I say that? Yes, I can. It's for attention. That's why they're doing it. I want it to be like everyone can just be who they want to be and express themselves how they want to. And I don't, I think it's stupid that everyone has to conform and be a certain type of way and a certain type of person to be accepted when you should be able to just be you and i know it sounds like i'm like totally gen z just now and being like oh you get to be like boy girl or the hundred other genders that there is but that's not what i mean and i hope you understand what i mean again and this is the second movie it was very Rick and Morty and I think again that's why I really really enjoy it is because I really really enjoy Rick and Morty. I like how it was kind of nothing was off limits and that I, I think I like that but I don't like that because I really don't want to see something that I really don't want to see. <laughs> you are gonna watch this outro and be like what the hell did I just watch and I'm sorry for that but I can't help it. Bartleby has a lot to answer for. This is the kind of movie that you'll, in years, 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 say like a, not a hundred, cause I'll be dead by then, but um, 50 years from now, and I will be an old lady and I'll be oldy and I'll be sitting on a bus talking to the old lady next to me and I'll say something like, remember that movie that had that scene in it where the, the pee pee melted with the acid? <laughs> the old lady next to me will be like, I never saw such a movie and I don't know why I'm talking like that because that's not my accent but that that's what would happen in years and years to come thing scenes from the movie will pop in my head and I'll be like huh well, what was that from again and that's what kind of movie it is it leaves it leaves a, an impression on your brain okay I'm gonna leave it there because I feel like I've said too much and I've said a lot of nonsense and you try you try and make sense of it because I can't I'll be editing this and I'll be like what? What? Let's do that again. So if you like this video, then please give it a good big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe and comment. Get those post notifications on. Check check out. Head over to Patreon if you want to be in with a chance of picking my next movie. So March, 
March, April, I forgot the months there. March, April, May, June, July. We do one every month. Um, you just need to be in one of the topper tiers, the topper, <laughs> one of the topper tiers. And then you are, you, you know, it, it explains it all over on Patreon. Yeah, this is another, so that we've had, what, five, four or five now patron picks. I'm gonna start calling them a PP because I like that word. And it's not P, P, it's PP, like the let, just the letters PP. And they've all been fantastic. So keep it going, like keep them coming. Don't know what that was. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, cause this is just a mess. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah. Thank you.